a cat that disappeared in Maine nearly seven years ago, turning up last week right here in Florida. That lost pet being reunited with its owner today. Calvin has more from the newsroom. Well, the one thing no one knows is how that cat ended up more than a thousand miles away. But thanks to her microchip, she's headed back home. Oh, I had a voicemail from a shelter in Florida that said they found my cat. And I was like, hmm, that's weird. And I was going to call them and say, oh, you have the wrong number. But they called and said, uh, we found your cat. And I'm like, well, I live in Maine and I'm not missing a cat. And they're like, well, the microchip came back to you. Ashes disappeared in August 2015. She got out and we couldn't find her. You know, she didn't come home. They looked for her for quite a while. And uh, they sadly concluded she probably had become prey for a predator. Janet Williams, who is originally from Maine, now lives in Florida. She spent her career in animal rescue. Her body condition was pretty poor when she was first found. Um, a local couple had uh, seen her as a stray and were feeding her. Her health was declining rapidly, so they took her into the vet. And during the course of treatment, that is when she was scanned for a chip and the truth was known. So they said, well, the microchip came back to you. And I was like, well, what cat is it? And they said, well, well, the microchip also showed Franklin County um, Animal Shelter. Um, I'm like, well, that's where I adopt my kittens. And um, I said, is it a gray tabby? And they're like, yeah, a female gray tabby. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, it's got to be Ashes. I haven't seen her in six and a half years. So how did Ashes get from Chesterville to Longwood, Florida? That's 1,148 miles away. I have interrogated her quite strictly, and she is not talking. Maybe she accidentally got there because she hopped in somebody's moving van or race car van or, you know, something like that. Maybe somebody found her, you know, near Chesterville and kept her as a pet and moved to Florida, and then somehow she got lost. But whoever had her never registered her or got her microchipped or checked to see if she had a microchip, so... It's just really a mystery. It's really an incredible story, and it truly speaks to the power of a microchip. Microchips work miracles. Um, it's safe. It doesn't harm the cat. Um, you know, there's no GPS. It's not tracking you or your pet. Um, you know, it's a really quick procedure, and it makes reunification possible. So I think the takeaway is microchipping your pet. Ash has hopped on a flight with one of Janet's friends today and is scheduled to land in Portland this evening where her owner will be waiting. She interrogated the cat? Really? <laughs> the cat's not talking. Uh, you've got to be uh, kidding but me. I, I want to underscore that, Matt, you know, microchipping is everything. If you have a pet, please microchip your pet. Yes. Really. Thank oh, you. Great story. Great could, ending, too. Yeah, that's right. Could have been catastrophic. <laughs> it oh. could have been. Oh, I, I was oh. waiting for it. I, 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 you know, I wow. saw it coming. Oh, I was hoping we would just now. get away from him great. fast okay. enough. Anyway. <laughs>